Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. So I was reading through the comments here on my YouTube channel and I saw that someone had left a comment that kind of stuck with me and I have not responded back to her uh, publicly. I thought I would do a video on it because I it was one of those comments that I read and I thought, oh, I know exactly how you feel and maybe just talking about it would be a lot more helpful than trying to type out a you know, two sentence answer, which what can you accomplish with a two sentence answer, right? So I have her question just past my camera, my line of sight here. So I'm going to read it um, in case you're wondering where, where, where is she looking at? Um, so this is her question. Her name is Gina, by the way. Hi, Gina. This is, I'm going to read your question and hopefully answer it. Um, I'm sure you're not alone in the way you're feeling. It says, hi, Ellen. I feel like I have no idea where to start on the question, who am I as an artist? Do you have any advice, examples, or help for helping artists figure that out? The first thing I would suggest is to take a piece of paper and write down at the top of it, who am I? Not who am I as an artist, but who am I? What types of things am I passionate about? What do I enjoy doing? Uh, am I an introvert? Am I an extrovert? What are my favorite colors? I know this sounds simple. It's like, duh. What, how's this going to help me? Trust me, this will help you. You write those things down. You know, are you passionate about the environment? Are you passionate about recycling? Do you love to hike? Do you like urban living? Do you live a minimalist lifestyle? Um, are you passionate about being an animal advocate? Uh, you know, I mean, the list goes on and on. You know, do you enjoy saving the sea turtles? Do you like video games? Um, do you like art museums? Do you like architecture? You know, what types of things make you you? What are you passionate about? So all of those things that you wrote down about who you are as a person, that is all going to filter into your work. Um, the colors that you crave, the mediums that you crave, uh, the subjects that you crave all stem from who you are as a person. They're one and the same, you know? Why do you think it's so hard for us to show our art to other people? Because they are pieces of us. They are us. So, you know, finding the answer to who am I as an artist is just, as, it's as simple as just asking yourself who am I as a person so that is where I would recommend starting because once you find out who you are as a person it will help you decide what it is that you what kind type of direction you need to go in with with your art it will help you become the artist that you want to be and when you find all of these things out about yourself then it can also lead you to the other people who have these same types of passions. And it's good to develop relationships with these people because these are the types of people who will likely be interested in your art. The, these are the types of people who will be telling their friends about your art. So I, I hope that that doesn't sound like a, just a trivial answer to you, Gina, and to all of you who are struggling with this same question, but really, this is where I started. I had to figure out first who I was as a person before I could figure out who I was as an artist, and it does overlap, and once you find the answer to one, it will spill over into your art, and you will start creating the type of art that you want, and it will just sort of unfold organically from there. You just have to have a starting point. And it may seem simple, like I said, it may seem trivial, but it really, really does work for me. Um, so I hope that this helps answer your question a little bit. For the rest of you who know who you are as an artist, how did you come to that point in your life? How did you realize who you were and what type of artist you wanted to be and what you wanted to create and where 
Did it lead you in life? It would be great if you could share that part of your story so that those who are still struggling to find their way can maybe get some inspiration from your words of wisdom. So if you feel like leaving any comments below about that, it would be a great uh, discussion starter and I would love to read them as well. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Be safe, stay well, and I'll see you soon. Bye.